We're talking about the 10 categories of loopholes, and they're all so ingenious and imaginative. I love all the loopholes. And here's a very popular loophole, the fake self-actualization loophole. And this is a loophole where it takes the form of an embrace of self, or a celebration of the moment. So it seems like it's a good idea, uh, almost spiritual, to indulge in this loophole. But you really want to ask yourself, is this what, what's going to make you happiest in the long run? Because sometimes having good habits over the long run means expecting more from ourselves in the present or you know, making demands on ourselves. And so you want to be very careful with fake self-actualization to make sure that you're really doing what you want um, over the long run. And here are some examples. You only live once. I love my life too much to deprive myself of this. This is special. I have to act now or miss out forever. And this is something that fast food uh, joints, for example, exploit. Like they'll have something like a heart-shaped donut or, you know, a pumpkin latte. And you can only take advantage of it right now. So you feel like, oh, I have to do this now or I'm going to miss out forever. Um, I want to live in the moment. I want to embrace myself just as I am. I don't want to be rigid and obsessive about denying myself this. Um, now, the fact is we're all grown-ups and we can all mindfully make exceptions. And so what you want to do is make sure that when you're making an exception, it's really what you're choosing to do. You're not just invoking a loophole in the minute, in the heat of the moment to get yourself off the hook. Um, but you're really doing something because this is what you're choosing to do. And a great way to do this is to ask yourself, well, how am I going to feel about this later? Oh, I'm in this restaurant and I think, oh my gosh, I, you only live once. I, I can't miss this opportunity. I want to have this special dish. Well, you might say to yourself, well, how am I going to feel about it tomorrow? Am I going to be like, oh yeah, that's great. I'm so glad I didn't miss this chance. Or I'm going to think, eh, well, you know what? It really wasn't so special. I wish I had stuck to the habits that I'm trying to construct. So sometimes by thinking about how you're going to feel about a decision later will really help you understand what you want to expect of yourself in the moment. So it's really good to watch out for the fake self-actualization loophole. It sounds great in the moment, but often later on, we wish we'd made a different choice.